Hello, this is you, my we craft, and today I'm going to be showing off my multi-entity detector. Um, now, this works off a simple dud where you have a chest with uh, an item or more, one item or more in it, um, a comparator going into a uh, resin torch, and then a piston. And this makes it so any updates to the um, comparator will pulse the piston. Now. What this also does, uh, as shown by here, it allows you to detect data updates, as the name did suggest. This is a data update detector. So I can... Like so, or I can put items at the bottom and it'll update. So this can be um, a way to find out if someone steals items from a chest. Um, because this can be found out if, you, if they steal a single item out of a chest. So, um, if for instance it's like this, normally with a comparator, if you took out one item, it wouldn't give a red zone pulse, but with the dud, it does. There you go, I just hit the piston. So, this is basically the dud. Now, I was testing around because, uh, as some of you may know, I have a unlimited storage design here with um, chest mine cards. So there's loads and loads of chest mine cards by here, and one thing I've always wanted to happen is to be able to detect how many chest mine cards are on the rail and see how full they are possibly, because uh, the current design there's no way of seeing how many items are in there. So I tried using a detector rail and the dead setup. Stupid pig. Right, so I tried using the detector rail and the dud setup. Now, what it showed was when I tried putting any minecart on there of any type, it would give a pulse. Uh, it would also give a pulse if the player was in it, uh, and if you started to take off a little bit, it would start to pulse more. So, couldn't work out why it was detecting that, as there wasn't any data being updated in the minecart. Um, but then I started to accidentally walk on it and realized that it would detect player movement as well. Um, then I tried a boat. Uh, if I can get it on there, you'll be able to see that the boat updates it as well. Uh, and an arrow. But unlike the others, arrow only gives one pulse. Uh, and also items. Uh, so underneath I got a hopper. I've turned it off with this. So even though the item is stood still, the piston is still pulsing. Um, so yeah, so that worked. Uh, I also tried experience. So experience gets detected by this as well. There you go. Uh, also the sand entity, now that's what we got the hopper there for, so we return this on so any items that go on there instantly get put in the hopper. The uh, sand entity gets um, detected as well. So um, all mobs do, uh, as the pig did earlier and the villager did now. The player does, um, all the items in my hotbar do, so XP, an item, a bow, boat uh, and minecart. So all those entities get detected by this little setup by here. So it's a basically a multi-pressure plate. Um, so you can have lots of different uh, things being detected. It only works with the detector rail. Um, but yeah, you can have player and all the items in my heart bar there. So thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share if you really want to build the design. Uh, um, just look around, it's quite a simple one. Um, so yeah, goodbye.